In this demo, uh, we're going to export student records again, but what we're going to do is just export the, um, the applications brought back by this particular query here. So if I go and look at all student applications, you'll notice that we have 11 within the system, but if I double click on just the applications, we should just see five. Um, so let me go and log into DocuNect as Bruce, my export user. and let me click on export student applications it's going to go away and run that uh, export it's going to log in uh, to application extender it's going to run that applications query and export the five documents to uh, the student applications folder structure Obviously, just as a reminder that all the information here running in the capture life cycle is uh, is audited in the logs, um, so we can make sure that we're we're keeping all that information just in case there's a problem that goes wrong, we can come back to the log and and just make sure that uh, we we track that uh, error through. There we go. We've identified um, five files to capture. If I go into the student uh, export student applications folder. You'll notice that there there is a folder in there with a date timestamp of when the process was run. If I double click on that, there's our five applications. Then our index file that contains uh, all the, the uh, pipe delimited uh, index values.